man, we've all been waiting for this one. This was PySync. Um, if you're normal, um, if you're a normal um, subscriber here to um, our in my group Funnel Hacker Pro, first of all, go to my group Funnel Hacker Pro. If you're not in there, um, I do all of these app reviews in deep, in depth app reviews, and I talk about them without the presence of the um, the vendors or the creators of the software so we can be totally honest or whatever and everybody's in here having a good time and we talk about apps more importantly we talk about how to use the apps right so i talk about mindset sales um in videos um, i do the unbiased app reviews and no pitch uh free training and i also do uh, link building code outreach just how to get your business up and running and use the apps that we're all buying um for all these lifetime deals so let's Talk about PySync and why PySync is so cool, right? So um, with Zapier, you just get a one connection, right? So uh, if I get a lead that comes in, uh, there's no way to like kind of sync it with every everywhere else that I have uh, leads, right? So I'm just using this example here with SalesFlare and MailChimp. Now, um, I have a webinar that I do uh, once a week um, for different... Uh, uh, clients that I have and their apps to show people that be interested in uh, influencers that be interested in promoting the apps, right? So I want to make sure that I keep all of my contacts totally in sync between SalesFlare and MailChimp. Now, what was really cool was you just got a list of apps, right? Um, and to, to, to connect those apps, you just, they put them side by side just like this and you put in your API for SalesFlare, you put in your API for, uh, API for MailChimp, and boom, you're totally connected, right? And you can choose here to sync only from SalesFlare to MailChimp, or from only from MailChimp to SalesFlare, or you can just do it in both ways. Now, the way PySync works is that you it's only going to sync a certain amount of contacts, like 2,500 or 5,000, and that's how they do, right? So if the contact is in SalesFlare, you can add conditions right so if it's owned by me has a tag if it's a customer or not a customer if it's owned if it gets deleted then you can do the same thing in mailchimp right so you add another filter so if it gets deleted blah 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 whatever and so you have this if this then that infinite possibilities on how you can sync up your data which is really awesome, right? So I want to go to your team. So if you have active team members, inactive team members, pending invites to people that you want to bring in. All right, and so then also how many referrals you have. So invite a friend, get free credit. Now this is awesome for them because you know they're trying to do the same thing like uh, Dropbox did and Gmail did. So if you invite people, you get free credits for... Um, your then you have your building here and you can sign out but you can get free credits for how many contacts you have right so that's pretty cool so let's go back to connections and we can add a new connection and let's just show you how that works right so i've already added but you just go through your list and choose what you want to add right so let's just say i want to uh, add sales flare again so sales flare so you can say, I want to add sales flare, and then you can choose like active campaign or whatever. But I'm just going to use um, MailChimp again because I don't think I have any more services on here. Let's see. Actually, I do have Stripe, right? So let's do with Stripe. So with sales flare, it's going to choose accounts since I already have an account, which is really cool. And with Stripe, you just need to authorize it, right? Which is awesome. So now I imagine this would be good is if, if you had uh, a contact in Stripe that canceled, then you can cancel in your CRM, right? So let's just connect it to my Stripe account. And boom, you're done, right? So again, if a contact is in SalesFlare, right? Sync the contact between SalesFlare and Stripe. But... You can also add on shit, right? So if we add on another rule, so if it's in SalesFlare, sync the contracts between SalesFlare and Stripe. You can update the email and you can update the description. In SalesFlare, it's the same thing if it's in, in Stripe, right? So there's not as many 
um, filters as you have and other things. So that's interesting, right? So now it's only seeing contacts that have an email address, right? And when a conflicting change is detected, which one will win? Will Stripe win or win uh, Salesflare win? So I would choose to have Salesflare win over the top, right? Um, but with Stripe, the people, I actually you would do this. If Stripe, it tends to, that they have better information. Like they're, you know, people are submitting financial information. You're getting their real information. So I would say Stripe would win. And there he goes. Do not sync people in existing Salesflare My Contacts, which is cool, right? And so then you have field mapping here to make sure that the emails are the same in each one. And you can add female uh, uh, field mapping for obviously addresses. So you could do that here, and then you could look for here, but obviously that's not over there now. So maybe the full name, there you go. So um, you can see what, so a subscription plan would be good, right? So I don't see anything like that. So you would have to make these all together, like um, uh, make sure that these, whatever you needed over here would be there, right? So a current or a link would account, then you can make a field in Salesflare to add up to this and then that would work out fine. So then you just hit the start syncing button and everything would sync up just fine. This is an awesome tool. I like the two-way sync because that's one problem with data is that you want it to be the same all over the place, right? Now, here's the thing with PySync um, and let's talk about this. It's mostly for CRMs, right? It's mostly just to, uh, for businesses to, to con so it's not as wide, there's not as many apps as there are in Zapier, right? And I don't think that they'll ever catch up with Zapier because Zapier keeps growing and growing and growing, right? So, but um, they do have a suggestion, right? So if you don't see your app, go vote for your suggestion, right? So let's let's make another connection. Hold on, let's see here. So let's add a new connection. So down here at the bottom says, uh, see our work in progress and vote for your preferred services. And then you can come down here and this is what they have currently available. And if you want more, you can vert, vote for more. So they're telling you what they're working on and what's in the pipeline right now, right? So I talked to like Company Hub and see Drift is there. I talked to Company Hub and they said they filled out the form and they never got an answer. And it's see Agile CRM is there. It just depends on when they decide to add it, if people vote on it, right? So if you have, like, here's Mardic, right? I've been seeing Mardic on there for quite a while but because uh, I've known about this tool for quite a while. So they're adding a lot more tools in here, but most of it is CRM stuff, if you notice. But here's WooCommerce, which is smart. Um, so vertical response. They got a lot of email tools, which is cool. But most of it is going to be CRM stuff. Some of the stuff I've never even heard of. And it's going to be impossible. Fresh Desk is really cool. It's going to be impossible to have everything. But um, try to. There's ConvertKit, uh, Contact Hub, ClickFunnels. That'll be cool, right? So uh, just come and vote on the tools. AWeber's not even in yet, right? So they always use MailChimp, MailChimp first. And for what I'm understanding is that um, these tools... Um, some of them are easier than others to integrate with. Like AWeber is easier than like, let's say active campaign, right? So these tools, like they have to work on these, but come and vote on, vote on the tools that you want. Um, I'm going to tell you now, you need to invest in this tool. This is like, you know, the new, the Neo Zapier where you're getting two way sync and you, you know, if you delete one contact and I'll give you a, a, a prime example of that right now. So I have a ton of contacts that I have in Mailshake, right? And I also have a ton of contacts that I have in Company Hub. So when somebody gives me a uh, reply in, um, in one of these campaigns, so let's just show you here that I have like five replies, right? So when I went in, it automatically goes to um, here in my uh, company hub. So these are all the replies. I'm going to delete these replies, and I already have. I would love if they would automatically delete here. So that's a really good, just a really good use case on how you could use it. So 
once they come out of Mailshake, I'm kind of done with them, and I'm going to track them here. So if I delete them in one place, it would be awesome if they would just totally delete this and close this out. Now, I think I can do this with Zapier, but I have to make two different zaps, and it's possible. But when it happens in PySync, that's going to be great, right? So get involved and make sure you vote on what you want. Definitely, I'm giving this five stars, um, and I'm definitely... Uh, recommending that you invest in this app right so um, that's all you're going to get from me this is a really short review because it's really a simple little tool and um, if you're using a crm uh, and just some of these other outreach tools so i'll give you an example if you're using um if you're already using let's say active campaign uh this is perfect for you right but you might be using it with a different crm um this is perfect for you so you can sync the contacts between active campaign i don't know if they have infusion soft yet but if they do um, that would be awesome if they already had um, infusion soft so using infusion soft and wherever else you have contacts because i have contacts in several different places right wherever you can do that and get them all synced up so when you delete it in one place it deletes everywhere um, or you add a contact in one place you can add it everywhere right and so that's really awesome so definitely come in here, vote on your tools. And again, I'm going to say this before I leave, come join Funnel Hacker Pro. A lot of spirit, spirit filled, uh, uh, like, uh, discussions going on here about tools and how to use a tool. So this is one tool that's up on AppSumo at the time I'm recording this. And we're talking about how to use a tool. And, uh, you can see that, um, you know, these are really cool spirited, uh, conversations and long list and get a lot of good recommendations from people that are in the business and that uh, know what they're doing so come on over and uh join the fun coffee break <sighs> <laughs>